Hi, I'm Chris Curry, Create Professional and Photographer, and today I have upgraded my audio and gone and purchased a Yeti X. So this is the first time I purchased a professional microphone and I was running into some problems with noise. What I'm going to do today is show you a simple solution to these problems. There's two parts to this, but first let's listen to the problems. What we're going to do now is I'm going to turn off all my effects and we're going to listen to some background noise. And this is just what is being recorded in the room tone. And now what we're going to do is apply this simple fix and let's listen to the difference. So this was before and this is after. As you can hear, that's a huge difference. So how did I do this? Well, there's two parts to this. Firstly, you want to make sure you have the gain on your Yeti X as low as it will go. Turn this all the way down to number one on the dial. And then the last part of it, and this is where I couldn't figure out what the problem was. Well, it's to do with the actual input into your laptop or recording device. I'm using a Mac, so I'm going to go up to my system preferences and then I'm going to go to sound. And then we're going to look at the input and you can see that in here, I actually have my input up to about 80%. That input volume is the actual gain and that is what's picking up the background noise combined with the Yeti X. So if you have your gain quite high on your Yeti and also the input volume on your laptop, it's just going to pick up all that background noise. I'm going to bring this right down to 5% and now let's listen to the difference. As you can see, that is a huge difference. Thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful. And if you are interested in Adobe tutorials, please do check out my page. If not, have a great day.